Hello friends, welcome back to the student blog. In this uh, Nutanix uh, series of training sessions, uh, we'll be looking at uh, how to add CPU memory and space to a existing VM or uh, uh, to a existing uh, disk. Uh, so let's go to our lab very quickly. So this is the VM, this is a Windows 2016 box. I want to add space CPU memory to existing VM. So just uh, right click on the VM and uh, click on update. So here you are able to see it's having one CPU uh, and uh, one core. So I'm adding uh, two CPUs and I'm just increasing memory by one GB. That is total five GB. And uh, I'm going to add additional space. It is having 22 GB. So I will make it uh, 24 GB for our lab and just click on update. So operation is successful. Let's start our VM. You are able to see here uh, the status core is 2 CPU and uh, memory is 5 GB and uh, hard disk storage size like hard disk size is 24 GB. So we'll uh, check from the VM console if uh, that VM really able to see the added um, CPU memory and uh, disk space from the OS side. So we'll wait to VM come up. already powered on so we'll wait till we are able to see it's it's in a green color the dot which you are able to see is red so yeah it's happening in back end if you see here see it's uh, powering on now it's showing as one person so obviously we need to wait for some time I will just pause the video so VM is coming up just go to the console and see So first we'll check our disk size. If it is added, then we'll be able to see unallocated disk space on our C drive in the disk management. So just go to right, start, and uh, run the command disk management.msc to see. Meanwhile, we'll also check our system memory and CPU. So it will be damn slow because it's a test lab, but yep. So it is a production, you will be able to see system running very fast. Okay, now we are able to see our uh, C drive with the uh, extra 2 GB which we just added. We will extend the drive. So we have extended the drive and uh, if you see the system settings, we are able to see the memory as 5 GB and the two processors. So we are successfully added the required uh, resources to this uh, server. So that's all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and please do subscribe my channel and uh, please please do like my videos if you really like it and uh, for any suggestions and queries uh, please reach out to me on vstudentblog at gmail.com thank you bye bye